what new manga is coming out this month. That is what we're going to explore today. You know, a few weeks ago, I did make a video talking about upcoming releases, and I thought it would be a little bit better to just talk about everything that is coming out this month. Stuff that I think is notable and that is fresh, brand new, hasn't hit the English market until now. My hope is that anybody who is trying to explore a new series or just even stay up to date on the current market can just, you know, pop this video in and get filled in on everything. I do enjoy these videos when it comes to other stuff like video games. So I thought it would be a great idea to do this for manga because, you know, not everybody has the time to look through every page, go through each every publisher's website and picking out what is brand new. A lot of the times there's stuff that is like, you know, volume eight of this series that you've already heard of, you know, when you're browsing through other upcoming releases. So like I said, I thought it would be a great idea to just, you know, make this video and hope that people find it useful where they can just kind of get all the information they need in one video. I'm going to go ahead and make Isekai its own section because there is a lot of Isekai that is coming out this month and I'm assuming it's going to be the same every month. So I'll have that in a different section so you can skip to that if that's all you care about or if you don't want to hear that at all, you can just skip skip that anyways let's go ahead and explore what is coming out this month so we are starting off with mal exercise your destiny in an era spanning supernatural adventure from manga legend rumiko takahashi when nanaka travels back in time to a supernatural early 20th century she gets recruited by a aloof exorcist mal what is the thread of fate that connects them together they seek answers and kick some demon butt along the way Nanoka passes through a portal into the Taisho era where exorcist Mao reluctantly rescues her from the jaws of a grotesque yokai. When Nanoka gets back to the present, she discovers she has some new incredible abilities. She returns to the past looking for answers, only to get caught up in Mao's investigation of a series of gruesome murders. As her questions about herself multiply, Nanuga learns that Mao is cursed by a cat demon named Byoki, and so is his sword. If anyone but Mao attempts to wield it, they are doomed. But when Mao's life is in jeopardy, Nanuga picks up his blade and swings. So if you guys don't know Rumiko Takahashi, she is the mangaka of Inuyasha, Ranma 1 Half, and My Son Ikoku. This for me is probably my top pick out of everything today. You know, personally, I am a huge fan of Inuyasha and Ranma 1 Half. So to see this, especially seeing how similar yet different it is to Inuyasha, I am pretty excited to get into this. Mao is being published by Viz Media and is set to release on September 14th. Although I have been seeing people get their copies early, so definitely check this one out. Next up, we have the sci-fi romance, My Wife Has No Emotion. A bittersweet love story between a lonely salaryman and his household robot. Takuma is a single guy who does nothing but go to work and come home. Too tired to do chores, he decides to get a robot to cook and keep house. Mina-chan is such a good housekeeper. Takuma jokes that she should become his wife. Mina takes Takuma's joke seriously and slowly the two start doing more and more things together like having a picnic outside. As time goes by, Takuma starts to fall for Mina, but can a human and robot ever have an equal loving relationship? You know, I, I, I have to say I was surprised reading this at how lovely the artwork is and how fun it was to read. I think if you're into romance and sci-fi, this is for sure worth checking out, especially if you're into stuff like Chobits or anything of that sort. This definitely has that energy to it. It is being published by Seven Seas and is set to release on September 21st, so definitely check it out. All right, next up is when will Ayumu make his move? The new will they won't they romance from the creator of teasing master Takagi-san. Ayumu is in love with his senpai Yatome, but he's sworn not to confess his feelings until he can beat her at the board game Shogi. The problem is his love is obvious to Yatome and she can't stop trying to trick him into breaking his vow. So like this mentioned, this is by the same mangaka of Teasing Master Takagi-san, which I haven't read, but I know it's similar to Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. And I have to say, reading a bit of When Will Ayumu Make His Move definitely has me wanting to check out Teasing Master Takagi-san because this was honestly a lot of fun to read. 
Reading out the premise definitely sounds a lot like Kaguya-sama Love is War, but reading it you quickly realize it's definitely different and it has its own energy and it doesn't feel uninspired. If you're a fan of this type of romantic comedies, which I personally am, I would recommend definitely checking this out. It's coming out September 21st and is being published by Kadansha Comics. Definitely check it out. Alright, let's get into some slice of life comedy. The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again, a sweetly comedic manga about a cat who cooks, cleans, and succeeds at adulting more than the woman who expected him to be a pet. Saki is an ordinary young woman who works long hours and lives alone with her cat Yukichi. Yukichi, however, is not an ordinary house cat. For one, the temperamental feline towers over Saku and walks around on two legs. Instead of playing with toy mice, he scours supermarket flyers for good deals and keeps the house spotless. With a pet like that, it's hard to tell who's taking care of who. <laughs> Yeah, if you're honestly, if you're a fan of cats and you like Slice of Life, I think you'll definitely like this. It also gives me a lot of vibes of Studio Ghibli with Totoro. At least that's what I feel. I thought it was pretty adorable reading it. I like the artwork. It feels very wholesome and like a lot of fun. If you're feeling up for that type of manga, definitely check this one out. It's coming out September 28th and is being published by Seven Seas. Up next is Hello World the Manga. An atmospheric high school love story with a science fiction plot full of twists and turns. Naomi is a shy teenage boy living an ordinary life until the day a mysterious man appears himself 10 years in the future. Future Naomi brings a dire warning. Naomi's soon-to-be girlfriend Rudy will be in a tragic accident not long after they start dating. Can they change the past and build a better future? Or is there something more to Naomi's mission than saving one girl's life? So this is actually already out in its original form, which is a light novel. And I hear a ton of great stuff about this. There's a lot of people that just love this manga. It's being published by Seven Seas and is set to release on September 20th. If you're into sci-fi romance with time traveling elements in it, I think you'll really enjoy this. Definitely check it out. All right, let's get started on some isekai. Going to be a lot of long names in this, so bear with me. But we are going to start off with Reincarnated as a Dragon Hatchling, a fantasy isekai adventure about a man who has to restart life as an egg. What? If you woke up as a sentient egg in some random forest, I bet you'd be confused too. That's exactly what happened to me in the oddest turn of events. Being reborn as a little egg has its challenges, but luckily with all these monsters out to eat me, I'm gaining experience quick. Once I bust out of the shell, a cool new form better await me, that is, if I survive long enough. This reminds me a lot of the premise of reincarnated as a spider. Like most of these isekai manga titles, this was originally a light novel, and I gotta say the artwork is very particular, it's it's very uh, unique. I can see some people not liking it. I think the action and the pacing in this is fantastic, it's awesome, it's very action packed. You're excited to see the growth, which I think is always great with these type of isekai, right? This is being published by Seven Seas and will release on September 28th. Definitely check it out if this is your cup of tea. Next one is probably my favorite pick out of all the isekai, and that is the NPCs in this village sim game must be real. Invited to play a secretive, strangely realistic video game, one man develops a deep connection with its characters, who seem almost human. Yoshio is a 30-year-old shut-in with no job and no prospects, still living at home after all these years. His mundane life is suddenly interrupted when he receives a copy of The Village of Fate, an experimental game with graphics and AI like nothing he's ever seen before. In the game, he takes on the role of a guardian deity who watches over the people of a new village, but he finds that the game characters are so intelligent, so reactive, so human, that he starts to wonder if they might somehow be real people. Through his connection to their strange, vivid lives, Yushio begins to discover the brightness that had been missing from his own existence. This was honestly such an interesting premise because he's not actually being transported to a world. He is just playing the game. I thought that that was so interesting that there is this level of astonishment even not being inside the game, which you know we see all the time where they get thrown into this game and I just honestly love that a lot. The artwork is fantastic as well. This is one that I'm definitely will be picking up. It's awesome. It is being published by Seven Seas and is coming out on September 28th. Definitely check this one out. 
Next up, we have Multi Mind Mayhem, Isekai Tensei Sodoki. Bard Cornelius is the son of a nobleman of Mauricia, an empire located in a parallel universe. But Bard is no ordinary boy, he's got three souls packed into one body. Aside from his own consciousness, he's got Oka Sanai, a miserly samurai, and Masaharu Oka, a high school otaku who loves animal ears. With his extra knowledge of military tactics and business acumen, Bard's ready to cheat his way to the top. Get ready to enjoy this manga version of this hit isekai light novel series. Series. This has an interesting premise with a lot of comedy in it, and the artwork is pretty good as well. I think this is pretty promising. You know, I thought this had an interesting premise where three consciousness inside of one. It does create for a lot of funny and interesting scenarios, and it surprisingly had some pretty good action in it as well. The artwork as well looks pretty good. This is being published by One Piece Books and is set to release on September 14th. All right, let's get into some light novels now. We're gonna start off with She Professed Herself Pupil of the Wise Man, the isekai fantasy tale of a young man sucked into another world where he must role play an old man in a young woman's body. Sakamori Kakagami was one of the top players in the VR MMO Arc Earth Online as Danbulf, a veteran summoner with the gravitas to match his elite status. When he falls asleep playing one day, he's transported to a world where the game is reality, but instead of his all-powerful avatar, he's stuck in the body of a cute young girl. He can't let anybody know that this little cutie is really Danbulf, so he takes the name Mira and claims to be Danbulf's disciple. If this gets out, he'll never live it down. This is actually set to be an anime pretty soon, which to me is a sign that this is probably pretty good. It was also a web novel from what I was understand. I wasn't able to really find where I could read this, but supposedly an anime is gonna come out later this year of this. So it sounds like it's gonna be pretty interesting. It's being published by Seven Seas and is set to release on September 28th. Next up is Tear Moon Empire. Surrounded by the hate-filled gazes of her people, the selfish princess of the fallen Tear Moon Empire, Mia, takes one last look at the bleeding sun before the guillotine blade falls, only to wake up back as a 12-year-old. With the time rewound and a second chance at life dropped into her lap, she sets out She sets out to right the countless wrongs that plague the ailing empire. Corrupt governance? Check. Border troubles? Check. Natural calamities and economic strife? Check. Hard work and Mia don't mix, so she seeks out the aids of others, starting with her loyal maid Anne and the brilliant minister Ludwig. Together they strive day and night to restore the empire. Little by little, their tireless efforts begin to change the course of history, pushing the whole continent toward a new future. And why did the selfish princess have a change of heart, you ask? Simple, she didn't. She's just terrified of the guillotine. They hurt like hell, and Mia hates pain more than work. This sounds hilarious, and there are a lot of fans of this online. There have been, I believe, digital releases of this light novel which a lot of people have been enjoying. So it's awesome to see that this is gonna get a physical. And you know, the fact that it's getting a physical is of course a sign that this is pretty good. So if it sounds interesting to you, definitely keep an eye out on this. It is being published by J Novel Heart and is releasing on September 21st. And last but not least, we have my status as an assassin obviously exceeds the heroes. Transported to a fantasy world of a roguish new take on the isekai genre. Oda Akira is the kind of guy who people forget is even there. His unassuming nature pays off though when his entire class is swept away to a fantasy world and he slips easily into his new role as a silent assassin. Between his suspiciously high starting stats and too many details that don't fit, Akira is sure something is wrong. But digging into royal secrets is a dangerous game, and when Akira uncovers an evil scheme, he also makes a powerful enemy the very king who brought him to this world. With the help of elven spirit medium Amelia, wow, where have I heard of that name in another isekai? Can he find the power to set things right and get his revenge? This light novel apparently has a manga adaptation by Seven Seas. I don't know if that's already published yet or not. It has a lot of good reviews on the digital versions which have been out already. So it doesn't surprise me that they are coming out with some physical releases of this. It's definitely one of those isekai where the main character is super OP, which me personally, I love that. It's a lot of fun. Solo leveling has that aspect to it as well, and I, I'm in love with that. So I'm definitely probably going to check this one out. And yeah, that's it for these light novels. This is being published by Airship and is being set to release on September 7th. And that is pretty much it for this month, guys. This is everything that is coming out this month or has 
probably come out already. I don't know when this video is going to come out. There will be links in the description if you decide to pre order any of these. They do help out the channel, which means a lot. I can't thank you guys enough who have been using the links. Everything that I do earn goes back to the channel with giveaways and everything like that. It's also a great way to know that people are enjoying the content and all that good stuff. Also, let me know in the comments if you found any of these interesting or if you plan to pick any of these up or if there's anything that you felt i left out let me know other than that leave a like if you did find this video useful and if you're brand new to this channel i invite you to subscribe as well i do plan to do a lot of these types of videos i'm starting to take this channel a lot more seriously i do have a lot of video schedules planned and it's gonna be regularly right now i'm doing two videos a week and i'm hoping to fine tune that to stuff that you guys find useful and enjoy other than that that is pretty much it guys i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace